Smile and learn. Hey friends, welcome back to Science Madness, a program where we discover, learn, and experiment new things. In our last video, we learned what electricity was and where it came from. Today we're going to learn about types of electricity and circuits. Are you ready? Let's start with a couple of questions. Have you ever walked across a carpet and later felt a small shock when you touched an object? Yes! And have you ever brushed your hair for a while and noticed how it got stuck to your brush? Yes! Good, well this happens because of static electricity meaning that an electric charge is created when objects rub against each other. So let me explain. All objects are made up of atoms that are impossible to see because they are super small. These atoms have different electric charges, positive or negative. When two objects rub against each other, they become charged with energy and the negative charges move creating an imbalance. We call this imbalance static electricity. Sometimes static electricity causes two objects to stick together or attract to each other, such as hair and a brush when we comb our hair. The brush has more positive charges and the hair has more negative charges. Positive and negative charges really like each other. That means they attract each other whereas atoms with the same charge don't like each other at all, which is why you will notice that hairs want to separate from each other. This is because each strand of hair is negatively charged. When two objects have the same charge, either positive or negative, they either move away from each other or repel each other. Now we know why sometimes some objects give us a shock. It's because we send the excess electrical charge from one object to another. Now that we know what static electricity is, let's look at dynamic electricity. Static electricity only lasts a short time. Obviously, we can't use it to charge our cell phones or turn on a lamp. We need to obtain a different type of electricity using the natural resources around us, as I explained to you in our last video. The electricity we receive at home to run our electronic devices is called dynamic electricity. Dynamic electricity is the flow of electric charges. Just as water flows in a river, so do electrical charges in a cable. In order for electrical charges to flow continuously, we need a circuit. A circuit is a closed path in which electrical charges travel along. Circuits have two parts. The first is the source of electricity, which we discussed in the previous video, and the second corresponds to the materials that allow the flow of electric charges. I'm going to show you. Here we see an electric circuit inside this flashlight. There are two batteries, which are the source of electricity, and the wires that carry the electric charge to the bulb. If I turn on the switch, the electric charges begin to flow through the wires and the bulb emits light. If I turn off the switch, the electrical charges stop flowing and the bulb stops emitting light. This works the same as a drawbridge. When its parts are lowered, cars can go back on the road. The same is true for the electrical charges in a circuit. All right, guys, now that we've learned all about the types of electricity and circuits, let's see what you remember. An imbalance of positive and negative charges between two objects is called... Static electricity. Static electricity, that's it. And the flowing of electric charge is called... Dynamic electricity. Dynamic electricity. Very good. 
great job. See you at the next show. Don't miss it. See you soon. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.